Africa is collaborating to address bowfooling threats to marine ecosystems. To address this problem, a regional workshop was convened by the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency. Ifunaya is a report. Discussions at the event focus on the problems associated with biofouling and how they impact shipping operations. African delegates attending the regional workshop expect to come up with actionable solutions to biofouling and carbon footprint reduction. It is important to highlight that biofouling forces a huge threat to Nigerians' transitions to the blue economy as it incurs environmental burdens such as low productivity, biodiversity, low resilience to the climate change and economic burdens, including financial loss due to low productivity, huge prevention and control costs, in addition to increased operational costs of offshore infrastructures, amongst others. Bow fouling is one of the issues that needs to be tackled in the maritime environment. Because when the vessel is badly fouled, the energy efficiency is greatly reduced. And the next thing is that you have a lot of greenhouse gases being emitted into the environment. International Maritime Organization has in place the IMO biofouling guidelines. And the aim of the guidelines is to ensure that we have sustainable development world over, especially in the shipping industry. And this is linked to the United Nations development goals. As, as with regard to the scope, we all know that a, a healthy ocean, we all know that a healthy ocean is good for the entire environment in terms of the shipping industry. Developing capacity and knowledge to drive technology solutions was deemed necessary to tackle ecosystem imbalances and close gaps in vessel emissions. It's for us to understand what are the new technologies, how do we imbibe it, where are the source of funding, most of the African countries, we are not well financed. We don't have much resources. So where we find this uh, result in terms of the training outcome, then we will now consult the international community. In addition to ensuring that knowledge is gained, participants believe that regional collaboration will aid in the preservation of marine ecosystem. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.